what's going on guys welcome back on today's video i'll be going over two distinct s and d patterns and no i'm not talking about supply and demand i'm talking about seek and destroy these are two algorithmic patterns uh, that once you learn them and you start to see them live uh, they can uh, help you tremendously in figuring out where the market is going next all right so grab a piece of paper and pen and let's get straight to it These videos are meant for educational purposes only. Any trades taken in the financial markets are under your own discretion. The information taught should be demoed and only taken to live accounts under your own responsibility. E is profitable, will not be held liable for anything you do with the information presented. All right, guys, so let's take a look at these two S&D patterns. Again, these are seek and destroy patterns, algorithmic patterns. So let's look at the left side first. So for a bullish S&D pattern, what the market will do is it'll take out buy side first. It'll then immediately take out sell side second, and then it expands. And that's where I got mark as go. For the bearish S&D pattern is in reverse. It'll take out sell side first, immediately it then takes out buy side second and then it expands lower for both of these patterns it does not matter if the market is bearish and this is the pattern that it makes before reversing or if the market is bullish and this is the pattern it makes before a continuation all right so that goes on this side as well so this could potentially be either a reversal where the market will take out sell side and then buy side and then it reverses or it could be a continuation right where the market was already bearish and it wanted to take out short-term sell side short-term buy side before a continuation bearish all right so let's look at the left side and let's analyze this and figure out why would the market do this. So if the market was bearish, right, the moment the market makes another lower low, you have people already shorting it further, right? So this is why the market reverses like a short term reversal to take out buy side liquidity. You have also people that are moving their stop losses and there's a lot of money sitting here so right so the market once people see that the market made a lower low they move they're moving their stop loss here and that's where the market moves up to take out those people at the same time you have other folks that are early buyers so there is money sitting below this low you, you also have people that maybe bought previously and have now moved their stop loss here right when they see this expansion higher there's people that move their stop loss there and this is why the market then reaches down one more time to take out these early buyers before making its next leg of expansion right or reversal depending on if the market is coming down or if it is uh, moving up right so again you want to look at this in the sense of where is money sitting and you know it's sitting here it's sitting here um another thing is let's just say the market was coming from a bullish run right you also have people that are probably looking at this like this right and they see a break and retest pattern right these this is the way retail has a tendency to look at this so when the market breaks and retest you have people buying right and this is why the market comes down one more time <clears throat> to take out those early buyers all right so this is a seek and destroy pattern all right and of a, a bullish pattern so again what identifies a bullish s d pattern is where buy side is taken out first followed by sell side immediately being taken out second all right so for the bearish side very similar but the opposite you'll see where sell side was taken out first for early sellers or early buyers 
and then it immediately takes out buy side for early sellers and then it makes its real expansion down its real move and again this can happen when the market was bullish and this was its reversal or it can also happen if the market was bearish and before making its next expansion lower it wants to take out short term sell side and buy side um, you know to eliminate or remove some of those sellers and buyers before making it its next expansion lower all right these two patterns um, are very useful they happen in every time frame you can find them in a four hour a daily an hour uh, 15 minute five minute even in the one minute all right another beautiful thing about the market that the market is uh, as far as like the market being fractal is if you look at this for example i can um, draw this little bearish move right right so that's the same thing as this just smaller right if you notice that is the same thing as as this you see that so within this bullish s d pattern also exists a bearish s d pattern you see that so if this if this was let's say a fair value gap or an order block then you can see where the market took out sell um sell side it took out buy side tapped right into a fair value gap and then it expanded lower and then another thing to look at is when you combine this pattern with other ict concepts like uh, order blocks fair value gas volume imbalances etc that makes these patterns even stronger so imagine if this area here was an order block right let's say if that was uh, a one hour order block so what what the market did here is it took out buy side it took out sell side while also tapping into a one hour order block man that increases the probability of you being on the right side of the market exponentially right this could also be a fair value gap instead of an order block this could be a volume imbalance instead of a fair value gap you know but if this scenario occurs right before the market taps into one of those pd arrays i mean that is excellent and then if you so and then imagine if this happens and then in addition to this happening on a one minute time frame you see a market structure shift with a lower time frame fair value gap boom and the market taps right into it i mean that increases it even more you know what i'm saying so these are all things that you want to pay attention to and that you're going to you have to back back test this but you also have to forward test this right because you have to uh, uh, get your eyes to be able to see this while it's happening live right so for the right side the bearish pattern same thing so again what differentiates them both is that the bullish s d pattern takes out buy side first followed by sell side immediately and then it expands higher while the bearish side takes out sell side first followed by buy side and then it expands lower all right so we're going to look at a few examples of this in the charts and then we'll go back uh, to this so i can explain a, a few other things all right so we're looking at some bullish examples right and uh, as you can see the market took out buy side first followed by sell side and then it made its next expansion higher ht means highs taken followed by lows taken and then it made its its next expansion higher another example same thing the market took out buy side first so highs taken immediately followed by lows taken sell size take and then it makes its next expansion higher so again the key thing is you have to see the market take out buy side immediately uh, and then immediately take out sell side that is the key um, algorithmic pattern that reveals to you what is going to do next Here's another example. You see how it takes out the highs, immediately takes out the lows, and then it makes its next expansion higher. Here's one more example, bullish example. Again, the market takes out the highs, 
it immediately takes out the lows and then it makes this next expansion higher so again if this was a fair value gap where the market tapped into once it took out those lows into a fair value gap you can enter there and set up your tp at the next high right at the buy side so let's take a look at a few bearish examples now so uh, bearish is the opposite when it's bearish a bearish s d pattern is going to take out the lows first lows taken followed by the highs and then it makes its next expansion lower let's take a look at another example here you can see where the market took out the lows first then it went after the highs immediately and then it made its next bearish expansion lower all right so again bullish it takes out the highs first the lows second and then it expands higher bearish it takes out the lows first then the highs and then it makes its next expansion lower here's another example it took out the lows first it took out the highs next and then it expands lower and again why is it doing this is doing this to take out those early buyers to take out those that are trailing their stop losses you know it there's liquidity when the market is moving there's liquidity and the algorithm is going to target that money before making its next move here's another bearish example again it took out lows immediately went after the highs and then it expanded lower here's one last bearish example again it took out the lows it immediately expanded high to higher to take out the highs and then it is a continuation, uh, bearish continuation. So let's go back to uh, the other screen. All right, so we're back to the other screen. So again, this is a very powerful uh, pattern, <clears throat> bullish and bearish S&D pattern. There are other patterns that I'll be going over in future videos, but to start you know and as a basic i think these are very important patterns to study back test forward test and try to start getting your eyes accustomed and seeing these live because it again it can help tremendously again when incorporated with um, order blocks you know if this was an order block price taps into it you see it took out sell side took out buy side that's beautiful you know this could have been a fair value gap down here the same thing you know what I'm saying? So um, always look at these patterns, um, not in the sense of like as, as soon as they happen, you're going to go ahead and take them, but you're going to incorporate these patterns along with your daily bias. Um, where are you in, in the market? You know, are you at a discount? Are you in a premium? You know, is price tapping into a fair value gap, an order block, a rejection block? Um, you know, all that good stuff. So um adding this tool to your basket of other tools is gonna increase your odds of being in the right side of the market right because if this if we were at a discount and then you see price taking out buy side then immediately taking out sell side also tapping into an order block i mean all those things are aligning for you so that everything that happens that you're just checking off you know boom 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 then once you get into that trade i mean that's a high probability trade and that ensures that you're going to be on the right side of the market so again guys i'm giving you gold right now study this stuff um, and incorporate it with your trading um, again a lot of this is going to be hard to see at first because you have to get your eyes used to seeing these moves happen live um, but once you do um, it's life-changing man i'm telling you it's like neo when he finally sees the matrix and understands the code in the matrix all right guys so i'll leave you guys with this and uh thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and again i'll be dropping some other videos soon releasing more strategies and other patterns algorithmic patterns that i have uh, discovered through my um back testing and analysis all right so hope this video was insightful Thank you for joining. I'm out.